Hello everyone. Welcome to course Mechatronics System. So I Rohit Gulanaur, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, KIT College of Engineering, Autonomous Kolhapur. Already we have seen some theoretical parts related to the Arduino in previous videos. Today we are going to see the actual coding of this Arduino Uno. So for this programming of this Arduino Uno and simulation, there is a free uh, software version is available. It is called as a Tinkercad. So just go for in a Google and just write here or you have to search here the Tinkercad. When you have to just open it, it will show like this. Just you have to click here for this Tinker Cat. And if you are already uh, login, just you have to click here login and just write your mail ID and your password. Or just you have to go in a sign up and you have to just sign it as a student. So I have already the account. So I will go for the login. Just I will click here as an educator and sign with a Google. Just I will use my email ID. And password. Wait. Now it will be open your this Tinkercad software. Now here it will give your profile name and here it is a show the your window just you have to click here for these circuits because we want to develop some Arduino circuits here so whatever you have designed already here it will show here I have made all these designs here just I want to create a new Arduino program so I will click here for this create and this is a circuit so whenever you have to click it it will be show the blank circuit where you can develop a new circuit so this is the actual look so here if you see at the right side here different components are available which required to use during this uh, making a small project or a sketch so first here there is a arduino just i will click it drag and drop here so this is a arduino you know now again I will take a, one a breadboard here. I will take one a breadboard here. Okay. So now I will connect this Arduino with this breadboard and I can control a LED. So I will just take a one LED. Just if you see here, you can just name there and you can change any color of this LED. Just first I will select the red color. Next, I will give here the supply has to be given here this is a breadboard here positive and negative supply is required to give so for the arduino there is a ground pin so i will connect this ground pin to this negative terminal and i will connect this positive 5 volt supply to here this positive terminal to this positive terminal okay and i will change the color here for this positive supply i will click here and i will change the color to the red now we are required to connect this led here so just you have to click here and just this is a anode cathode point just this cathode point you have to connect it with a negative so for the negative we have to use the uh, green color so i will just click here and just i have to select this green so this wire becomes a green 
and for this whenever you have to use this anode okay now we are giving here the five hold supply we are giving the five hold supply but this led is works on a one or two hold but we are giving the five hold so when you have connected here it will be a blast look here it will be a blast okay after connecting this i will just say simulation so when you have simulate it will be a blast why because the current flowing here is a 5 volt it is a maximum for this led so i will stop here and i will redo i will what i will delete this line i will delete this cable and i will connect this led with arduino with a some resistor with a resistor if you click here it will show the resistor and here the value of register you have to give for this i will here connect 220 ohm register just you have to click here and you have to select here just i have connected here the 220 ohm register and i have connected this led to this arduino with this register and when i will did it is simulate it will be glowing on and whenever you have to see just i will stop i will when i will connect here just look at this portion usb portion and here the light will be glowing on of this arduino means what this arduino is on and it will give on the supply of this arduino to this breadboard and this light must be on look here yes and it will be a continuous light will be on why because we are giving directly 5 volt supply to this breadboard so here the no coding or programming is to be required so when the program is required when we have connected this led with this the digital input output okay so let's take one example just i have to delete it okay now i want to connect this pin number four this i will connect this pin number four here just i have to connect here in a positive supply okay in a breadboard if you give supply here it will be automatically here it will give to all these port okay now when i will start simulate it will be not working it will be not working because it is required to write a code why because here directly 5 volt supply we are not giving we are giving the what the digital pin supply so for that you have to just click here for a code and just you have to write it if you want to write a code there are two methods are available one is a block method and next one is a text method i will go for a text method i will go for a text method already in previous lecture we have seen if you see clearly here there is a this is a id where the wide setup where you can write whatever you can write it will be run only a one time okay this is a pin mode now here we require to give the pin number if you see this diagram or this circuit which pin we have connected to, to this the circuit for a positive because this one is a ground so we do not require to give program for a ground we require to give program for this positive so what pins which pin number we have connected here if you just i will go here and just i will put here so it will show d4 means what the pin number 4 we have to choose so for the code so in, in here the pin mode 4 so i will write here pin mode 4 as a output the generally led is a output because we have to control this led by using this arduino so pin 4 is a output now wide loop so whatever the main program we have to write it a wide loop which will be a you know repeated mode so first digital write that pin number 4 already we have seen the pin number is high high means it is on so when pin number four is high next the delay means how much second it must be on just i will write here 3000 because it is in a milliseconds so i will write here 3000 means for means what it will be on for a only three second what will be after three second next again there is a digital light uh, led bulletin so i will instead of this i will here i will give the pin number 4 so after that pin number 4 is low and again the delay for i will write here only a 1000 
what it means what it means now that program means when i will run it it will be the digital write read for high means the pin number phone must be on for how much delay for the 3 second i will give the 3000 milliseconds so it will be on for a 3 second and after that it will be off it will be off for only a 1 second because we are giving here a 1000 let's check just i will close it and i will start the simulate look here it will be on for 3 second after 3 second it will be turned off again 1 second it will be a turning off this is a simple program so just I will change here instead of three uh, instead of three thousand I will give here the waiting period of a uh, five thousand means it will be on for a five second and for the low it will be I will give you for a three thousand millisecond so now if you are to simulate now it will be on for a five second check here after five second it will be off now it will be off for a three second after 3 seconds again it will be on why because it is connected in a loop so it will be a continuous so after that completing just you have to this copy this code just you have to just copy code and you have to just upload it in a IDE and according to the this diagram you have to connect the hardware according to this simulation you have to connect the hardware if you want the circuit diagram of it just you have to click here just you have to click here it will give you the circuit diagram of this circuit again i will connect here and just you have to click here just at the left side double click you have to just double click it and you have to give the rename it just i will write simple led program simple led program and just you have to click any outside it will be give the simple LED program and just you have to click here for this Tinkercad whatever it done automatically it will save in your account so whenever you have to open it just I will whenever you want to open it just open it and you have to click here for the Tinker this so it will be automatically save and it will be always available for you with a this circuit diagram just you have to edit okay thank you